Hello friends, welcome to post configuration steps of SQL Server part 2. In part 1 we have showed how to configure min and maximum memory. In part 2 we are going to uh, show you how to uh, what are the remaining steps that we need to do. So for example while installation SQL Server we will add our login as a current user. So our shift got completed and we need to uh, uh, I mean some of our team of our members who are available in that shift they have to access SQL Server. So if we have any group deals we need to add here. If you forget and if you have some additional logins are there you have just create uh, you just add create login command you just paste that commands here as well okay. Under that, we need to disable auto close. You you know that one of the uh, like uh, in the production box, if there is no workload on the database, it will go into sleeping mode. So uh, we, we once it is go, then uh, we will get the ticket. So it will create unnecessary uh, like ripples in the production server. So it if we disable this auto close we don't get alerts and we will work and uh, i mean to say like we will concentrate on other things as well the third or the fourth thing is we need to enable the backup compression why we need to enable this if we don't enable this backup compression at server level so every time whenever we are taking the backup we need to mention with uh, with compression parameter okay so for example, uh, right now I am having these many databases. I am changing auto close for this one database. So just go to the options. So here I am changing to two. Okay. Now if you see here, click execute. So all these databases I am having only one for test server. I am having only auto close enabled. So this script only pulls the data of like uh, where the auto close is uh, enabled okay so it is going to turn off just select that command click execute so it was done now go back to this command and check that see all are uh, like all, all, all uh, for auto close was disabled for all the databases okay now if you see here go to properties compression database settings compression was backup was enabled now i am unchecking uh, that option let's assume that you have just configured initial sql server if you use this command click execute it is done now refresh the instance once go to the properties database settings see that option got enabled if this is not yet enabled then what you need to do you need to each go to the each whenever you are taking any database you need to go to the backup option here you need to select every time or otherwise you need to use the with compression option if you see here see with i am removing all so with compression you have to parameter every time you need to mention so to avoid this it is a one of the best practice uh, that we can enable compression at server level so you can paste all this script and you can execute at once so i hope you may like this video and uh, wish uh, we will meet you again in the part 3 thank you